right? Okay, so here we have one question about uh, in equilibrium of rigid body. Okay, forces F1 equal to 5.6 Newton and F2 equal to 10.3 Newton applied tangentially to a disc with radius 30 cm and the mass uh, 5 kg as shown in the figure. <coughs> Calculate uh, the net torque on the disc and B, the magnitude of, uh, actually this is the of, uh, so, okay, uh, magnitude of uh, angular acceleration influenced by the disc. Okay, so how to do this question? Okay, so uh, here he gives us the radius, this is the radius, okay, and given the mass also. And this is a disc. Do uh, you see that? He said this is a this. So, uh, okay. So this this is a uh, we can we can say this is a uniform this. Uh, this is a, a uniform this. A uniform, or we can say it is a solid this. Okay, uh, it's a solid this or uniform this. So from here we can know the moment of inertia for solid disk. Okay, so the formula for moment inertia for solid disk is half m r square. If hollow disk, uh, hollow disk or hollow cylinder, it is m r square. If solid disk or solid cylinder, it is half m r square. Uh, solid disk is smaller moment of inertia compared to the hollow. Okay, so solid disk is half m r square. So this is a solid one. Yeah, it's not it's not hollow at the center. Okay, uh, so the solid disk formula is half m r square. Okay, uh, is half uh, m uh, half m r square. Okay, so um, now we want to find the net torque on the disk. Okay, uh, net so net torque. Okay, uh, for the formula for torque, torque formula is. Uh, F R sine theta, okay, where uh, where the theta is the angle between, uh, theta is the angle between between the F and R, okay, angle between F and R. All right, so uh, let us find the net torque, okay, okay. I want to redraw this diagram here, uh, redraw it, make it bigger. Okay, easier to see. Yeah, like this. Okay, now um, okay, the center here. Uh, this is the radius. Okay, so you can see there are two tangential force, F one and F two. So I label. Okay, uh, this is the F one. Sorry, F one. Uh, this is the F one. And this is the F2. Uh, do you notice how I adjust the F1? I make it to the top uh, uh, so that I can uh, draw the top e uh, easily. Okay. So remember this tangential top, uh, tangential force is uh, 90 degree to the radius. Okay, they are 90 degree to the radius. Uh, this is the and axis of rotation is the center. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the axis of rotation. Uh, the O. Uh, this is the axis. Axis of rotation. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay, this is uh, the R. Okay, this is the R. This is the R. Okay, so and this is the axis of rotation. So we can see uh, F1. It is uh, this F1 will make this object rotate. Uh, uh, rotate around the axis of rotation. This F1 will make the object rotate clockwise. Uh, will make the object rotate clockwise. So uh, it is this direction, okay? Clockwise. Uh, so this is the torque for one, okay? Torque one. And um, uh, okay, remember about the direction, okay? Remember about the direction. Um, okay, don't 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 think about the direction yet, okay? So we know this uh, this force will make the object rotate clockwise. How about the F two? Uh, F two will make the object rotate anti-clockwise. Okay. 
Okay, we put as talk to. Okay. So now we want to find the net talk. So uh okay, so let's let's find let's find us the net talk. So what is the total talk? Okay, total talk. Uh we take okay to find the total talk, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to determine the direction of the torque. Okay, uh, put a sign, positive and negative sign, for clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, so remember about uh, last time we learned about equilibrium or rigid body. Okay, uh, for the torque direction, we take uh, if clockwise is negative. Okay, clockwise is negative, anti-clockwise is positive. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so this top one is clockwise, isn't it? Okay, maybe I should write it over here. Okay. Put it over here. Easier, yeah. So this is the direction, huh? This is the direction. Uh, this is the direction. And the sign. Okay. So for clockwise direction is negative. Anti-clockwise is positive. Uh, so we, we can see from here. This top, this force one will make the object rotate uh, clockwise. Okay, uh, clock rotate clockwise around the axis of rotation. So this top one should be uh, this clockwise is negative. Uh, so top one you should put negative sign. Okay, uh, and then okay, just put negative sign. Uh, and then how about the top two? Uh, top two will make the object rotate. Anti-clockwise, isn't it? Anti-clockwise. So this talk two is uh, positive. Uh, talk two is positive. Okay. So now, um, now we can apply this formula. Talk is F R sine theta. Okay. So we can put uh, we can put talk two as positive because anti-clockwise, and talk one as negative because clockwise. Okay. So we can put as a negative. Um, okay. Put as neg. Uh, negative top one okay negative top one and then uh positive positive uh top two ah uh, this positive negative sign is just a direction uh, this negative top means uh, clockwise positive top means anti-clockwise okay uh, and then we apply the formula fr sin theta uh, fr sin theta so for F uh, top one is the force is F1. Uh, so just put as F1 and the distance to the axis of rotation is R. Uh, is R. And then sign, sign angle between them. Angle between F1 and R is 90 degree. Uh, so it's 90 degree. Okay. And then about top two, top two is uh, positive. Positive uh, and then uh, F2, okay. The F2 times the R, okay, times the R sine. What's the angle between the force and the R? 90 degrees. See that 90 degrees. So just put as 90. Uh, so actually, this uh, when sine 90, you get a maximum torque. Uh, yeah, because sine 90 equal to 1. Is maximum value okay so uh, remember about the sign uh, the, the negative here negative here it means a clockwise direction uh, this one the positive here means anti uh, clockwise uh, okay uh, clockwise talk and anti-clockwise talk okay so now uh, let's put in the value. Okay, put in the value. Uh, what is the force one? Force one is uh, yeah, five point six newton. Five point six. Multiply the radius. The radius is uh, thirty cm. So I com I must change. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is centimeter. Do you see that? Uh, so you must change to SI unit. Uh, you must be careful. So. Uh, so the R is z divided by 100 becomes 0 0.3 meter. Uh, divided by 100, you get 0 0.3 meter. Okay, uh, sine 90 equal to 1. 
and then plus what is the f2 f2 is a 10.3 and then what is the r uh, yeah r is 0 0.3 yeah, yeah? 30 cm 0 0.3 meter uh, yeah so sine 90 also okay so let's uh, total up and see what's the resultant torque okay uh, the answer is um, uh, positive uh, I got a positive value positive uh, 1.41 uh, 1.41 what's the unit okay what's the unit if you forget about the unit of torque never mind look at the formula it is a newton meter isn't it newton meter ah sine theta sine theta has no unit so the unit for torque for torque is uh, newton meter uh, if you forget about the unit just refer back to the formula if you forget about the unit refer back to the formula newton meter uh, so what does it mean by this positive sign here you get the resultant torque you get a positive torque what does it mean uh, it means the direction the direction is a uh, positive direction of the torque is positive that means it is uh, anti-clockwise uh, isn't it uh, because just now you have a negative torque and positive torque and the resultant you get a positive torque that means the positive torque is uh, higher positive torque is stronger uh, so the torque that make the object rotate uh, anti-clockwise uh, anti-clockwise has a bigger torque uh, the one rotating anti-clockwise has a bigger torque uh, that's why the resultant also anti-clockwise okay uh, so yeah if you compare the force yeah f2 is much bigger than f1 f2 is 10.3 but f1 is just 5.6 so f2 has a bigger torque uh, f1 should have a smaller torque okay Ah, so is that answer correct? Yeah, the answer is correct. Yeah, one point four one newton meter. That's correct. Okay, one point four one newton meter. Ah, is you must write the direction also. Ah, anti clockwise. Okay, rotate anti clockwise. Now, how about the B? Find the magnitude of angular acceleration influenced by the this. Okay, so for this question. Just now this is part A. Now let's look at part B. Okay. Part B, yeah. Right. Just want to put this one over the, the other side. Okay. Okay, so for part B, we want to find the angular acceleration. Yeah. Angular acceleration that means it is alpha. We need to find alpha, the angular acceleration. Uh, this one we use the Newton second law. Uh, yeah, last time we learned about total force equal to ma. Uh, this time we learned total torque uh, causes the angular acceleration. Uh, total torque equal to I alpha. Okay, before we do this formula, we have to find the moment inertia first. We do you know this is a solid disk. Okay, so let's find out the moment inertia. Yeah, moment inertia. I equal to moment initial of the disc is half mr square okay uh, this is for the moment initial of the disc so uh, he give you the mass okay he give you the mass five kilogram uh, so just put in the value yeah just solve it okay this is a uh, half uh, five kilogram multiply the distance is 0 0.3 meter uh, because centimeter change to meter you by 100 so uh, so what's the moment inertia let's find out okay the moment inertia is a uh, 0 0.225 0 0.225 uh, what's the unit for moment inertia uh, don't be afraid you still have the formula the mass is kilogram the r is meter uh, meet r square is meter square so the unit for moment inertia is kilogram 
meter square. Okay. So now, uh, we already have the I, uh, and we also have the resultant torque. Okay. So we can find the moment, the angular acceleration. Uh, yeah. So, so just put in, uh, torque is a positive torque. Yeah, positive torque. Uh, it is a positive one point four one. Uh, equal to uh, the I is uh, 0 0.225 alpha okay yep okay huh? so uh, what's the alpha what's the alpha you get uh, okay uh, the alpha is stick, uh, I got positive value also the alpha I got positive value uh, which is um, 6.27 6.27 uh, radian per second radian per second square okay uh, so what does it mean by the positive alpha here positive alpha here that means this angular acceleration is also anti-clockwise uh, yeah uh, that means the the direction is anti-clockwise the positive means anti-clockwise ah, okay so the angular acceleration is anti-clockwise that's why your alpha is positive value okay ah, so always uh, normally the alpha follow follow the top ah, yeah Alpha follow the direction, yeah. Follow direction. Ah, uh, okay. Alpha always follow the, the sorry. Let me write it down again. It always follow the direction of torque. The alpha always follow direction of torque. Okay. Ah, uh, so if torque is uh anti clockwise, like I get the torque is a positive value anti clockwise. So the alpha also will be uh, anti-clockwise huh? or be positive also. Okay, is the answer correct? Um, 6.27 radian per second square. That's correct. Okay. Uh, so uh, this, is how, this is how we draw the free boy diagram. Yeah? You must put the force at different point. Okay. Okay, that's all for this question. Bye.